Hi, my name is Brian Loyal, and I'm a Principal Solutions Architect at AWS, working on AI for healthcare and life science. Developing drugs is really hard. On average, a new pharmaceutical takes almost $4 billion and over a decade to bring to market. And that's important because we expect our medicine to be safe and effective. But every year of delay means fewer treatments for patients. That's more people dealing with chronic conditions like diabetes and more people wondering if they're gonna see their kids graduate from college. So AWS is working with our life science customers to accelerate research and development using AI. Now, there's a couple ways we do this. So for example, we provide leading large language models like Anthropic Claude or uh, the meta series of Llama models that allow them to extract insights from scientific knowledge. Or maybe they're using AWS services like AWS Batch to run HPC jobs and do virtual screening. But one of the areas we are most excited about is developing new drugs from scratch using generative AI, partnering with innovative companies like Evolutionary Scale to identify new molecules. Now, one thing that we've learned is that it's not enough to just deploy a model. You need to give scientists the tools that they can use to accelerate their work. And so in this demo, we're showing how you can bring these models to the people that need them the most to really find the drugs of the future. Now today, we have a couple of options. We'd like to showcase an example we have for either breast cancer or diabetes. And I think that right now, let's look at breast cancer. So imagine if you were a researcher working on the next generation of breast cancer therapeutics. One thing you might wanna do is learn more about the mechanisms of this disease. Find some scientific information to guide your research. Well, using Amazon Bedrock and Bedrock Agents, we can build a tool behind the scenes to pull down research papers and extract the most valuable insights to guide your research. Next, what if you want to access a, a specific domain data set like protein structures or sequences? We can also build a tool behind the scenes using Amazon Bedrock that can download information from public repositories. So in this example, rather than knowing how to reach out and query a database of protein structures, we can instead just ask Bedrock agents to download it for us. And what that results in is a 3D structure like you see on the screen here that you can explore, learn more about the properties, and help guide your work. Now finally, one of the areas that we are most excited about is the idea of using AI models as a tool for your AI application. So let's say you were working on a breast cancer therapeutic. This is a model of Herceptin. It's an antibody, and the way it works is the active sites will interact with the extracellular domain of a cancer protein. It's a growth factor that helps cancer cells spread faster. Maybe you wanted this to be more specific or have a stronger binding ability. In this case, we can pass that information into ESM3, and it'll generate a new molecule from scratch. This is groundbreaking. And imagine you could do this 50,000, 100,000 times. That is a great candidate list to move downstream into the lab. We're not replacing laboratory work, we're making it more efficient. This is just one way that we're helping our life science customers use AI to accelerate their R&D.